Good day, participants, and welcome to the third De La Salle Araneta University International Multidisciplinary Research Conference with the team Leading Sustainable Change and Equitable Resilience. I am Maurice Rovides, and I will present our study, Comparative Study on Growth and Biological Yield Performance of Oyster Mushroom on Different Substrates. Researchers, yours truly, Maurice B. Gravides, Ms. Jessica Napoles one and Ms. Zezernin Caceres of School of Graduate Studies, the National Teachers College. Now, when we say kingdom fungi, they are all eukaryotes. Made of chitin, specifically the cell wall, they are mostly multicellular, and some are unicellular. They are heterotrophs, body are made from filaments called hyphae, and reproduced using spores. So, oyster mushrooms, specifically Pleurotus ostreatus, belong to the genus Pleurotus under the class of Basidiomycetes. Uh, they are edible mushroom. Pleurotus fungi are found in both tropical and temperate climates throughout the world. So, as you can see in the pictures, these are the these are the fruiting stages of oyster mushroom. So, the early stage is the convex caps. The middle part or the middle stage is the flat caps and the older or the old stage is the concave caps. So, semi-temperate mushrooms are group which has gained popularity not only in the Philippines but in other countries of Asia. So, oyster mushroom belongs to the semi-temperate mushroom. They, are, they have the survival temperatures of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius both vegetative, vegetative and fruiting stage. They are commercially grown at present. So we have some examples here. First are the oyster mushroom. Second are the shiitake. Third one is the tenga ng daga in Philippines or auricularia mesentiraca. So these are the general phases and standard technology of mushroom culture. So the first stage is what we call the propagation of the pure culture of the mushroom mold. Second is the production of the planting material, the mushroom spawns, and the mushroom growing, which are which compose of pretreatment and post-harvest management. So let's first discuss the propagation of the pure culture of the mushroom mold. So first, we are required to have a PDA mixture. So PDA mixture is composed of 250 grams of peeled and sliced potato. 20 grams of dextrose and 250 milligrams of aspergine. We, we, we will also use a flat bottles, specifically a tandwai bottle in the Philippines. So for the distribution of the mixture. Now, before we put the mushroom tissue, we need to sterilize the bottles using autoclave. And we need to use a inoculating loop, okay, for the isolation of the mushroom tissue. The mushroom tissue is from the oyster mushroom sample. The incubation period is from three to four days where you can see an impregnated um, version or impregnated with mycelia, the flat, these are the flat bottles with mycelia. Now, let's prepare for the mother culture. So, we are required to use sorghum grains with 65 to 70% moisture. So, we boil the sorghum grains to achieve the 65 to 70% moisture. Now, let's prepare the substrates. So, in this study, we are using six types of substrates. So, substrate A is composed of co coffee grounds and rice bran, which composed of 75% coffee grounds and 23% rice bran. Substrate B is composed of 60% sawdust, 15% corn cobs, 23% rice bran. Substrate C is composed of 30% sawdust, 37.5 coffee grounds, 20% rice bran, 7.5 corn cobs. Substrate D is composed of 50% sawdust and 50% coffee grounds. Substrate E is composed of 100% coffee grounds and 